Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Juline and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So I'm going to be doing my April kit lineup today. So we have four weeks in April that I am planning for and I am using these inserts from my shop. These are my grid, three box grid to help me track this. And what I did was I just added a bits of washi tape from Simply Gilded and then these monthly scripts from Airy Bea um, to help me keep track of what I'm going to be using. So if you guys are curious to see how I set this up, I do already have a video up and this is what the insert looks like blank. I also do have one that already has some florals in there. So if you don't want to put the washi in yourself, you can get the Kate florals. So that is this insert right here and it has the same layout with the three boxes here so that you can list out your kits that way. So these inserts are from my shop and you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. But I have kept all of my kits that I'm going to be using for the springtime in this Simply Gilded album. So this is the one that I'm going to be using from April to June. So I have split up my year into four of these albums. So I have all of them in here all ready to go. I have a referral link to Simply Gilded. So if you guys are interested in these washi tapes or the albums, then you can use my link down below. But let's get started. So what I've done is I've organized my kits and I just put the week here at the top. So week 14, 15, 16, 17. So I can just pull from here whenever it's time. But for week 14, I am using a kit called Breakfast. So that is this kit right here. And then I also pulled this icon sheet from Simply Gilded. This came in a grab bag that I want to use with it. So I've added my own overlays on top. These overlays are from Rose Colored Days. So again, I have a link to their shop. So if you guys are interested in purchasing the overlays that I have here, you guys can use my referral link down below. But this kit does have a kind of purpley gray tone, has a lot of marble accents. Thought it was really nice and I think the rose gold will match perfectly with it. Um, so this is the first kit that I wanna use for April. In April, I tend to use a lot of light purples for some reason. I just feel like since it rains a lot, I like to use blues and purples. So this is what the kit looks like. You have some deco, you even have some flat lays there. You have some fancy boxes, a ton of different headers, and then your checklist. And then your littles, you also have three box checklists right here. All your icons are all on one page, which is very convenient. And then you have your glitter headers here, your pattern boxes and solid colored boxes. And then the bottom washi is actually just a marble. So it's very plain. So I might add an overlay on top of that to make it more my style and then you have your checklist and a couple of more boxes on this one. So that is called Breakfast. And that, again, that is from Paper Crown Planner. And I plan on using this together with it. And then actually for the following week, the following week is Easter already, which I can't believe. So I do have a favorite kit that I love to use during Easter. And that is from Planner Pixie Co. So Planner Pixie Co used to have this in her shop. I don't know if she still has it. This is her old format, but this is the kit that I use every single Easter time. I just love this clip art. I think it's so cute. This kit is called Bunny Hop. And again, I have added these overlays on top from Rose Colored Days. I especially love this little flat lay right here with the bunny pancakes. So adorable. So I love this shop. I don't get to use as many kits from the shop because she has changed her format and I prefer the older one, but I love this design. You have all your different boxes here and then you have your weekly tracker. It says, buy this, clean this, do this, important. And then look at this bottom washi. It's split into two and you have like a little bunny bunting. I just think that's so adorable. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of looks like it's ripped here on the side, which I think is a cool touch. And I really liked her font that she used to use on her date covers. 
So she has changed things up from her shop, unfortunately, so they don't look like this anymore. But this older format was so good. So I really, really like the colors. And then what's great about her shop is that she does also provide quarter sheets. So this one, she has one that says school and work, but since I'm no longer in school, I just printed it out to have both work. And then you do get some glitter headers and then your date numbers are here and then you get some icons as well. So I think that's so cool. So this is the kit that I'm gonna be using this Easter once again. That is from Planner Pixie Co. Bunny Hop. It's definitely my favorite. So because the kit is a little bit larger, um, I just keep it here. They don't fit in the sleeves of the album that I'm using. So I just keep that in there and I keep the quarter sheets in here. So now let's move on to week 16. So on week 16, I'm gonna be using another Paper Crown Planner kit and that is called Blossom Season. And again, I've added these basic frame overlays from Rose Colored Days and I chose to go with Silver Hollow this time. So I love this clip art. I just think that it's so pretty and I really like the different florals. So this is what the full boxes look like. Then you have a few other full boxes here. I also really like the weekly sidebar. So this is her newer format. So it is slightly different. You have some layering bits all on one page here, as well as your bow headers. You have a few deco and I really like these boxes. And she also gives you some swatches here as well as your weekend banner. You have your scripts here and your icons. And then she also gives you different types of washi so you can play around with that, use them in different spreads if you want. And then here are your full box checklists, your littles, and you also have some icons there as well, your glitter headers, and you get some scalloped headers there. And then you have all the different types of boxes, fancy ones, and you have your pattern ones. And then you have a page of just your color block. And then this is what the bottom washi looks like. Very beautiful, very delicate. So I'm excited to use this for the beginning of my spring kits. The weather is still a little bit cold when I'm filming this. I'm hoping that by the time I'm gonna be using these kits that the weather is actually nice. Um, but for week 17 in April, I'm going to be using this kit, again, from Paper Crown Planner. This is called Espresso. Once again, I use Rose Colored Days overlays. These are the decorative frames, and I chose silver to go with this. So I just added those on the floral boxes there just to give them a little bit more emphasis, but it does have like a coffee theme. Again, it has a, quite a lot of watercolor and marbling to it. I really like that those two things together. So this is the older format once again. So here are your boxes, all of your headers, and then the full box checklist. It has the marble pattern in the back there, and then your littles here, all your icons, boxes, and habit trackers on all, are on that page, and then you have some extra boxes here. And then the bottom washi has the marbling as well as the florals there. And then this is the last page of the kit, so you have some extra boxes to work with. And then to pair that with, I do have this old sheet from Regina Laughs. Her shop has now changed names and it's Miss and Meow, but these are her scallop circles and I thought a few of these kind of lighter pinks would match really nicely with this kit. And I can probably pull in some of the mint as well. So I'm going for quite a lot of florals and marble for April. So that is everything that I plan to use for April and I just keep those all in there. And then once May comes around, I will be filling this in as I finalize what kits I'll be using. But I really like this and so as you guys can see, it works really well for what I'm using it for. But of course, since it's just a grid insert, you can use it for a lot of other things like goals, notes, you can even use it for journaling if you want. So again, you guys can find these inserts from my shop. So I have the plain version, which is what this looks like, and then also a floral version. 
which is called the Kate Florals. So if you guys are interested, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. But that is my April kit lineup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, you guys can leave them down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.